all right guys welcome back to the channel today as you can tell by the title we're painting the cord finally but the thing is is gonna be the vlog is gonna be like chopped up so i'm not gonna be filming much because i'm not comfortable filming around my dad so far we've got the bad clear coat sand it all down we used 80 grit and 180 and now we're just taking whatever we can take off off so we're gonna uh, scuff up the whole car with thing like uh 1500 wet sanded and then we're gonna paint but this is the fender hood roof all bad clear but yeah man here's the rear so this there's still a pretty big dent but the thing is it's it's it looks way better than how it looked before and then we didn't want to put too much bondo because if we did the lip of the wheel hits the quarter panel it'll just crack and then the paint will be all fucked up all over again so yeah but i'm gonna try to film much as i can for you guys um oh yeah we replaced the door oh wait i already said that i think in the last video but i'll film much as i can i won't be able to film a lot because i'm me and my dad are the one mainly doing the car so i'm gonna be too busy to film but i'll try to have eliza film to see if she can get any good clips so this isn't coming off we're gonna tape it off all this chrome we're gonna tape off because uh, if we take it off it's gonna be even more work to get this little crevice but we're gonna get close as we can to this edge sand it down and paint it So we're going with thousand grit now, thousand grit wet sand to just break down some of the smaller stuff. Oh yeah, this fucking guy said it, but yeah, you get it. Damn, clean eyes, clear coat. You see this? Mm. started on Tuesday and is now Saturday and Saturday we're, we're painting so I don't know if I should do black and white until the car is fully painted or if I should just show you guys the color as we're painting but we just pulled up to my dad's now I had to go pick up some lacquer thinner from Home Depot because we got to clean the gun and I don't have anything I don't have what he doesn't have lacquer thinner, so we were gonna just spray with an electric gun, but plans changed. And I bought a Harbor Freight spray gun because my dad has a compressor. So the paint has way more flake than we thought. Because when we opened up the first time, there was a lot of flake already, but my dad just told me it was stuck at the bottom of the can. And now there's a shit ton of flake. Like, look. The Stop it! Hey! Watch, look at look at this flake. Hey, fire! Stop! Fire! Stop! Fire! What?
got done laying the paint, as you can tell. But I'm covered in paint now. Car's completely done, except for the clear. We just need to shoot clear now. And then at the end of the video, I'll reveal the color to you guys. I'm gonna put everything in black and white. But yeah, we got a few bugs on the car. I don't know why, but for some reason, the flies like the paint. <laughs> guys the car is completely painted now i actually ran out of clear coat so i could only do two two layers of clear but it's coming along there's this dent still here yeah but we got it to the best it could be we didn't want to put a lot of bondo and have it crack from hitting the from hitting the lip because it, it bangs sometimes but we didn't want it to crack with too much bondo you excited? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's still going to be black and white, I know. But once we put everything on, and tomorrow when we take it out, then I'll finally reveal the color. But all the tape and stuff is coming off. And we got to put on the lights and whatnot. And that bumper. got to put that bumper back on. Um yeah man we we didn't do the the door jams though because it would just would have been too much way too much work and it was good that i didn't do it it's good that i didn't do the door jams because we actually ran out of paint too like we don't have enough for another mixture of paint we and we used a whole gallon too so we do need a wet sand though and buff and cut because it'll make the car look better especially because of the orange peel but that's what happens when you don't paint an actual booth and when I was painting, my feet kept getting stuck to the floor because we didn't wet the floor. And the hose for the air, the air hose for the gun, uh, like came up with grass and got stuck in the door. And got to wet sand that off. But what do you guys think? Even though it's black and white, comment down below what you think. Because it's looking pretty nice already. You can see the old color on the tire because it's from when we sanded. It's just water residue. We gotta take out these two, this duct tape, and then put the lights back in. Man, this, it's not even my car and I'm fucking excited for it. Uh, yeah, the GoPro died, so I had to film on the phone. But I kinda like filming on the phone better, cause I can zoom and stuff. But you can tell with the orange peel. But once it's in the light, cause this is, this is, the car's not in the light. So you can't really see a lot of the clear and a lot of the flake actually got stuck in the strainer but let me show you when it's in the sun all right guys so the car is finally painted and we pulled up to her aunt's house to show her brother but Everything's done. Everything's completely done. Camera might die soon, so I might have to switch to the phone. But this is how it's looking. Yes, sir. Sparkling, fool. But yeah, I just need a wet sand and polish. Because in the shadow, then you can see all the orange peel. But in the sun, you just see all the flake. But it came out pretty good. It came out better than I expected. For my first time ever painting a car, this came out way better than I expected. But there is a little run with the clear coat because it spilled out of the gun. Uh, yeah, that dent still, eh, but it's way better than before. This car's looking clean now. And I think there's still paint on the camera from when I had it set up in there, but it's not even my car and I'm fucking excited for it. But yeah. Shout out to my dad for letting me paint it at his house. So how you feel now about your car being purple? You think I did a good job? 
Yeah, like nine and a half out of ten. Because we still have to stand above. <laughs> yeah. But damn. In the sun. It's making the camera, like, make the car look white to the sun. But. This shit. Oh, God. Copyrighted. See all these huge speed bumps? Damn, the camera's so foggy because there's still paint on it. But yeah, damn, we gotta angle over all of them. Gotta angle over all these speed bumps. So we're just driving around, taking pictures of the car. Since it's the first day we're out with it, and we let it cure overnight for basically almost 24 hours. And then we also let it cure for like four hours just in the sun parked in the sun chilling maybe even more than that maybe six hours just parked in the sun but we got we did get some some pretty good photos let me show you guys so we got this photo right here and then this one it looks it looks good in person i mean like it, it looks it looks hella clean in photos but then if you were to see it in person, you won't be like, oh, that, that don't look like the same car. But really, it is. All right, guys. So if you look with the light, it doesn't look that much orange peel. But then with no light on the car, it looks like more orange peel. But I just need a quick wet sand that, buff that, and bam, it's going to be shining. But we just pulled over to try to get some more pictures and to try to make a reel. What? We didn't get it right here. I think the tape was right there. Where? We're right here. Like. Oh. Was that from the tape? That probably was from the tape or something. Or maybe it took it. No, that was from the tape. I gotta go over that with clear. If not, it's gonna peel. Okay. When you wash it? Yeah. Alright, so we just met up with Clyde to take some pictures. Most of y'all probably don't know the color of his RSX. Can I show them the color of your RSX? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? All right, so he got it wrapped. How much? Huh? 700. Hey, what? Wrap? Paint? Thank you guys for watching the video i hope you enjoyed and if you like the new color like the video if you really like the new color comment down below and don't forget to subscribe but i'm just now finished editing and it's been like i think like two days so it should two days since we painted the car but it should be up within tonight actually yeah it should be up tonight as long as i get the thumbnail edited and done then this vlog will be up tonight but stay tuned for the next video the next video will, will be wow. wet sanding and Three buffing the the Three cord so yeah i uh, hope to catch you guys in the next video oh.